Okay, let's get started with the introduction, bar 1, 8, 1 to 8, right hand. Practice speed, 120 to the crotchet. Bar 1 to 8, let's go. 1, 2 and 3. And I omitted the last beat. We'll practice that separately. Okay? So once again, bar one, eight, right hand. One, two, and three. Pause the video, practice that. Now, bar one, Eight, the left hand is very easy, it's just the note C. Play it with finger five, so you're already in position. One, two, three. Pause the video, practice that. Now, I'd like to practice the transition between the introduction and the theme in the right hand. Now, this is the accompaniment. This is only the accompaniment. So we'll be going from right. We we'll practice that transition. So it's bar eight and nine. Right hand. One, two, three, one, two, three. So you want to be careful to go from the major to the minor. Okay, be very careful. You're coming from major and you're landing then on a minor, on a minor chord. So once again, bar eight, nine, right hand only. One, two, three. And then you're off into the theme. Now, pause the video, practice that. Okay, now we are going to practice the accompaniment for the first main theme in the right hand. The accompaniment is in the right hand because the tune is in the left. So the accompaniment is made of chords and they are all in root position. So easy peasy. I will first play bar 9 to 24 continuously. 1, 2, 3. So that's the accompaniment for the main theme, okay? Now, let's play the four chords separately. From bar 9 to 12, you have a C minor chord. I suggest you play that with finger 1, 3, and 5. So, bar 9 to 12. 1, 2, 3. That's fine. Pause the video, practice that. Right. The next chord is a G minor chord in bar 13 to 16. And I want you to play it with finger 1, 2, and 4. So let's do that. Bar 13 to 16. 1, 2, 3. Also play it with finger one three five the choice is up to you pause 
pause the video, practice that. Now we're going to practice the chords from bar 17 to 20. It's a B flat major chord. I think a good finger in there is finger two, four, and five. Let's play that. One, two, three. Pause the video, practice that. Now we'll play the chords in bar 21 to 24. It's an F minor chord. And I think a good finger in there is one, two, three. One, two, three. But for small hands, maybe you'll be more comfortable with one, three, five. Let's play them. One, two, three. Nice and steady. All these chords must be nice and steady. Pause the video, practice that. We now need to practice the transition between those chords because they're all in root position and we need to move our hand up and down a little bit. Okay, so we practice now the transition between the first chord, C minor, and the second chord, G minor. If you want, you can do that uh, with the same finger. One, three, five. One, three, five. Or an alternative is finger one, three, five on the C minor, and finger one, two, four on the G minor. So, let's practice that a few seconds. You want to practice going from C minor to G minor. And then you'll do it in tempo. Three chords each. Bar 12, bar 13. One, two, three. One, two, three. If you practice that transition, going from chord to chord will feel a lot easier. One, two, three. Pause the video, practice that. And now I want you to practice all the bars from bar 9 to bar 16 and watch the transition between bar 12 and 13 from the chord of C minor to the chord of G minor 1, 2, 3 pause the video, practice that In the same way, I want you to practice transitioning from the chord of G minor to the next chord, B flat major. Now, a good fingering would be 1, 2, 4, 2, 4, 5. Very little movement involved. But I encourage you to find your own fingerings. Let's practice going from G minor to B flat major. A few times. G minor. B flat major. Now we'll do it in tempo. One, two, three. And again, one, two, three. Pause the video, practice that. Now let's play all the bars from bar 13 
to bar 20. So four bars of G minor chord, four bars of B flat major chord in tempo. One, two, three. Pause the video, practice that. Now we need to go from the chord of B flat major to the chord of F minor. Now, you see guys, I have a big hand, so I can easily do finger two, four, five on B flat major to finger one, two, three for the F minor. But you might want to do something different. You might want to have different fingerings. Maybe one, three, five on the F minor. And because these chords are kind of staccato, you can change fingers. Anyway, let's practice going from B flat major to the F minor. B flat major to the F minor. A few times. And keep your finger consistent. Then I want you to do it in tempo. So bar 20 and 21. One, two, three. One, two, three. Pause the video, practice that. Finally, play all the chords from bar 17 to 24 and watch the transition at bar 20, 21. One, two, three. Pause the video, practice that. Now, here comes the main theme. This is the tune and it's in the left hand because it's in that register to start with. And let's just play from bar 9 to 16. That's where the tune is. One, two, three. Once again, one, two, three, 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 off. Last time, one, two, three. the video, practice that. Now, the second half of the team from bar 17 to 24 in the left hand still. One, two, three. And once again, I'll count one, two, three, 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 off. So I'm doing this theme with two different five finger position. The first half of the theme is in a C minor five finger position. One, two, three. And the second half of the team is in a B flat major 
five finger position with your little finger on the B flat here. So I'm now going to play the whole team again with the left hand and then you'll practice it. One, two, three. Get ready to move your hand, move. Pause the video, practice that. I think it's time to put the hands together a little bit. We'll start with the introduction. So bar one, two, eight. Hands together. One, two, three, one, two, three. out the last beat. So once again, introduction, bar one, eight, hands together, one, two, three. Pause the video, practice that. Okay, before we go any further, we need to practice now a couple of bars of the theme, two bars. Let's do bar nine and 10, hands together. One, two, three. Now the left hand has to come out. I want the left hand louder than the right. The right is only accompanying. Okay, bar nine and 10, hands together. One, two, three. Pause the video, practice that. And now we need to practice the transition between the introduction and the main theme. We need to be able to go from one to the other seamlessly. So, bar seven to bar 10. And watch the chords in the right hand. One, two, three. The left hand needs to become louder, needs to come out, because that's where the tune is. Once again, bar seven to ten. Watch the chords. One, two, three. Pause the video, practice that. So, now that we practice our chords and our main theme, we need to put them together. So, let's play bar 9 to 16, hands together. One, two, three. And once again. Bar 9, 16. 1, 2, 3. Pause the video, practice that. Now let's play the second half of the tune, bar 17 to 24. 1, 2, 3. Pause the video, practice that. Okay, we also need to practice from bar 13 to bar 20. Otherwise, we will have a gap between 16 and 17. So, from bar 13, the G minor, all the way to bar 20. One, two, three. the 
video, practice that. Now, let's see if we can play all the theme from bar 9 to 24. One, two, three. Pause the video, practice that. I think it's a good idea to practice the transitions in both hands. So let's also practice bar 12, 13, hands together. One, two, three. Just that. One, two, three. One, two, three. Then also bar sixteen and seventeen, both hands. One, two, three. One, two, three. And then bar twenty, twenty one. One, two, three. Bar 20 and 21. One, two, three. Etc. Pause the video, practice all that. Now, do you want to know a bit of good news? Bar 25 to 32 is the exact same as 9 to 16. So you've practiced that already. Let's move on. Now, let's have a look at bar. 33 to 40 41 in the right hand only. 1, 2, 3. Pause the video, practice that. Now, bar 33 to 40, left hand, 1, 2, 3, off, once again, 1, 2, 3, 1, Pause the video, practice that. Okay, let's have a look at bar 37 and 38 before we join all that together. Just bar 37 and 38 will do it a bit slower. First of all, I want you to do this. One and two and three and one and two and three and one. One and two and three and one and two and three. So it's like this. Practice just that. Pause the video and practice that. And now we put it together. Just bar 37 into 38. One and two and three and one and two and three and Pause the video and practice that. And now we'll join bar 33 to 41. Hands together. One, two, three. Etc. Once again, bar 33 to 41. One, two, three.
pause the video, practice that. Now, in bar 41 to 48, we have the theme in the right hand. So, 41 to 48, one, two, three. Pause the video, practice that. The left hand is divided again in two chords. C minor and G minor. So let's practice bar 41 to 44 first in the left hand. One, two, three. Pause the video, practice that. And then we'll practice bar 45 to 48 in the left hand. Same finger work. You just need to move your hand from C minor to G minor. One, two, three. Pause the video, practice that. Now you can join all that together. Watch the movement in the left hand. So from bar 41 to 48, hands together. One, two, three. Once again, one, two, three. Pause the video, practice that. Now, let's have a look at the rest of the theme from bar 49, just the right hand. One, two, three. I'm using finger five and two on F and B flat. If you find a different fingering, more power to you. Now, once again, bar 49 to 55. One, two, three. Pause the video, practice that. Now, same spot, left hand accompaniment, bar 49 to 52. Just the B flat major accompaniment. One, two, three. Pause the video, practice that. And now, the C minor accompaniment from bar 53 to bar 56. One, two, three. Pause the video, practice that. Okay, I also suggest you practice going from the B flat in bar, from bar 52 to bar 53. So bar 52 and 53, one, two, three. Pause the video, practice that. Now we put it all together, hands together, bar 49 to 56. One, two, three. Once again, one, two, three.
pause the video, practice that. Now let's have a look at the right hand first, from bar 57 to 60. Your right hand goes all the way up here. So I would just practice that in the right hand. I use finger 3-5 and then 1-2-4. One, 1-2-3. Two, Pause the video, practice just that. In the left hand, in the same bars, this is happening. Now, I feel that you can use the pedal. If you have a pedal in your keyboard, your piano has a pedal, the sustain pedal. I think that a, a pedal sounds nice here. Listen. One, two, three. You need to change the pedal at each chord. So, let's have a look at the left hand on its own. First of all, bar 57 to bar 60. One, two, three. Pause the video, practice just that. Then you might put that together right away. One, two, three. Pause the video, practice that. Then in bar 61 to 64, you have two more chords. This is one, an F minor the left and then it's a C minor so practice going from one to the other one two three the pedal will help you a lot one two three practice just that in bar 61 to 64, the left hand is only doing this. One, two, three. I was using finger one on the F. You can use finger two, whichever you find more comfortable. So, left hand, bar 61 to 64. One, two, three. Let's put it together, bar 61 to 64, hands together. One, two, three. Pause the video, practice that. Now, we need to be able to go from chord to chord. So why don't we try going from this chord So from the from the E flat major to the F minor. So from bar fifty nine to sixty two. One two three. Pause the video. Practice that. Okay, let's go from bar 57 to bar 64. So, bars 57 to 64. One, two, three. Practice that. The chord in bar 65 66 is an empty is an empty A flat. 
sounds lovely. Let's do it hands together right away. It doesn't make sense to practice hands separately this one. So, bar 65, 66 is this. One, two, three. Pause the video, practice that. The next few chords happen a little bit quicker. There's about one chord per bar for a couple of bars. So let's have a look at them separately. Bar 67, you have this. Use finger one, two, three if you can. The next chord. And the next. And they come about one bar each. So one, two, three. So, bar 67 to 71, 1, 2, 3, one more time, right hand, bar 67 to 71, 1, 2, 3, pause the video, Practice that. Now, we'll do from bar 67 to 71 in the left hand. One, two, three. And also 72. So, once again, bar 67 to 72, left hand. One, two, three. the video practice that now we'll put that together bar 67 to 72 hands together one two three once again bar 67 to 72 hands together one two three Pause the video, practice that. Now, bar 73, your right hand goes up here. So practice those two chords in the right hand from bar 73 to 76. One, two, three. Pause the video, practice that. Bar 73, 76, left hand, there is a quaver movement. It's quite nice if done with the pedal. One, two, three. Once again, one and two and three and... Pause the video, practice that. Bar 73, 76, hands together. One and two and three and. Pause the video, practice that. Now, bar 77 to bar 80, two cards. One, two, three. Practice that in the right hand and also practice this in the left hand. One and two and three and. And then put the two hands together. One and two and three and. Bar 
81 to 84, three chords. One, two, three. Two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. Once again, one, two, three. Pause the video, practice that. Bar 81 to 84, left hand, one and two and three and... Pause the video and practice that. Bar 81 to 84, put the hands together. One and two and three and... Once again, bar 81 to 84, 1 and 2 and 3 and... Now, grand finale, bar 85 to the end, right hand. Left hand, bar 85 to the end, one, two, three. And now, bar 85 to the end, hands together, one, two, three. 